Where's Mira? We're ready to go. Needed elsewhere. She asked me to drive instead, which I'm assuming is her version of running the parent trap. A parent trap? Yeah, she's tricking us into working together as a team. <sighs> Come on. Let's get this iron coil to Prospero Astiero. Mind if I drive? I'd rather not end up wrapped around the capo tree. You're not still sore about that fruit stand in Patagonia, are you? We got there. Eventually. Hey, move over. It's roll. All systems go. Let's get this show on the road, amigo. So this Mira character, how'd you two end up in cahoots? Came to find me in Medici. Told me my father built some sort of weapon. You know, kid, if you'd answered any one of my hundred calls, I could have told you the same. All you do is manipulate the truth, Sheldon. It's only later that I find out what you're really after. Jesus, kid, is that really what it's come to? Shall we talk about what happened in Medici? Fine. If that's the way you want this dance to go, then that's the way it'll go. Roadblock ahead, Rico. I see it. Mira. Confirmed. We're seeing numerous Black Hand units between Mediolab and Prospero Astiero. They must have intercepted some Army of Chaos chatter. Be careful, guys. Hostile in our area of operation. That chopper's gunning for us, Rico. Hostile is in ground vehicle. Amphibious, Sheldon. Shit, that's convenient. Yeah, some fires need starting. That they do, kid. Taking a lot of damage here, kid. Rico, this bucket of bolts ain't holding up so well.
Santo. We're home. Come on in, Rico. We'll take care of the black hand on your tail. shooting earlier. Thanks. Your people work fast. Now you and Mira got quite an operation going here. They just want things here to change. How's it feel? Having an army. He's growing on me. Seems like it. Well, I always thought leadership suited you, kid. We better make sure that boat has some firepower. Mira and I got it all under control. We'll uh, have her ship shape for you in no time. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, Rico. What do you want to name her? Turkosh, Elden. How about... Thunderbarge! Is this it? Mm-hmm. According to the data you retrieved, the ion coil in here creates positive streamers which stimulate electrical storms. So it makes lightning? Uh, no. It creates a positive charge which draws negative charges to it. So lightning will strike the ion coil and not anything around it. So it absorbs lightning. How do we get it out of there? We need to get around the fail-safe system. There are lightning rods protecting this area. Deploy those rods, and the failsafes release the coil. Lightning rods? I thought you said this thing absorbs lightning. If Mira says it'll work, it'll work. I know, I'm just messing with her. I'll go raise the lightning rods. It used to be a lot easier to get along with. We get along fine. <sighs> Come on, let's get inside. On the first lightning rod. There should be a breaker nearby. Sleeping it will force the rod up. There's one. Yes. Staying near an active rod will protect you from lightning strikes. And If I'm not near one. Without a positive charge, the negative charge... Move it or lose it, kid. If you're about to get struck by lightning, Rico, just move. As fast and as far as you can. Move fast. Copy. How's it going out there? A little damp. You ever tried... Jesus, Rico! You all right? Oh, yeah. Fine.
on the last lightning rod. Coming back up. That should do it. We'll get to work extracting the coil. Hell yeah, we did it, kid. Yeah, nice teamwork, Sheldon. Now find me a towel. You look cold. Work with me, kid. I'm living up to my end of the bargain. You and me? We've got a long way to go. How many deposed dictators later, and you're still the same asshole you were at 17? If I were 17, I wouldn't feel so banged up right now. You remember when you used to dress like a Mexican Johnny Cash? What's wrong with Johnny Cash? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Johnny Cash. It's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. <laughs> Whatever you say, hula shirt. There's nothing wrong with a hula shirt. Hey, it's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. Give me that. Was ready. See, si. and not a moment too soon. The Black Hand are setting up patrols all along the Rio and I. They're putting the pieces together. We're running out of time. Get airborne. When we reach Zona Dos, I'll disable the cord that's controlling the storm. As soon as this one clears, I'll fly in and use the core to access the Yapa network, bringing down the defense node. Bueno, Sheldon, join with me. What do we know about the Lightning Core's defenses? Aside from lightning, <laughs> uh, there's some shielding held in place by magnetic locks, but we'll take care of the locks once we get in there. And we gave you that extra firepower you asked for. Could be useful. Hmm. 50 cal, mortar, anything else? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Meet you there. You ready? Just like old times, amigo. Think these boats really gonna protect us from the lightning? Absolutely! Why else would I volunteer to sit at the highest point of the vessel with my hands wrapped around a giant piece of metal? Here they come.
I brought the giant key, right, kid? <sighs> You're gonna have to kill the power to the locks on those doors. Watch the boat. Generator down. Blow up the other one, and we'll get out of here. like they did it. Full steam ahead. You hear that? The falls are coming up. You nervous, Sheldon? Yeah, a little. That's what makes it fun, though. Zona dos. Full throttle, Rico. We need speed to get over that wall.
out another rock. She'll be able to take out that defense note from there. She's good. Let's leave her to it then. I got something to show you. <sighs> okay, yeah. What is this, Sheldon? Well, when I was researching Solis and your father's situation, I heard about an old agency outpost used to be near here. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I didn't want to get your hopes up, but I thought we might find something out about your old man. This was his project, after all. Let's see here. I'd reckon. A surveillance outpost. 
This must have been where they kept tabs on the Ayapa project. Espinoza, your dad, and the weather technology. How long has the agency known about these? Here. This looks like a good place to start. I still works. The Hiapa project. This is interesting. What did you find? Surveillance footage. Your dad's name is in the file. Miguel Rodriguez. Play it. Do you have any idea what I sacrificed for Project Iapa? Miguel, no. I refuse to play part in this any longer. Good luck finishing Iapa without me or my work. If Miguel Rodriguez is allowed to leave this project, he'll be a serious liability. If we were to take care of that liability now, Lanza Morales' work on Zona Uno would suffer. No. Let Miguel leave. Let Lanza hear that he reunited with his family. Then what? I have Black Hand in Medici under the command of Sebastiano Di Ravello, who, last I checked, is in the agency's pocket. I need to speak to General Di Ravello. <sighs> Thank you for your contribution to Project Diapa, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Rico, I had no idea. You gotta believe me. It never made any sense why Di Ravello killed my parents. It was the agency and Espinosa using that idiot dictator's crew as a cover. How could you not know anything about this? I didn't know anything about Project Iapa or your parents or any of this back then. I was brand new at the agency. This sort of thing was way above my pay grade. I only had orders to save you. I'll tell you this, kid. You and me, we're gonna end Oscar Espinoza and take out Project Iapa together. I knew the agency was dirty, but... Look, why don't you head topside, get some fresh air. I'll keep snooping around here, okay? You let me know if you find anything else. Patched in and ready to go. You? Nothing to report. Everything okay? You sound... Bring it down. Okay.
<laughs> Let's do this. about these movie producers you talked about? Think she was a director? King something. You should meet with her, Jefe. Thank <laughs> you. 